Hey guys, welcome to the Undecorated series. Yes, the Retro Raised Ranch. It was a super fun project. We are so excited to share our backstory of this project yeah. with you. And we're gonna be kind of playing clips and giving you guys a quick debrief of how we staged this property. And by the way, I think it sold like within like 20 hours yeah. and it had like 70 there were 70 people at the show yeah so can, i mean can yeah even imagine it, it was an i mean the market's crazy right now but staging really elevated this property yeah. it was it was a it was a great project so we're excited to share mm -hmm. this with you yeah so we're gonna get into it now we're gonna play the video so So this seating space was a really cool idea that you, we both had. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. There was this, you guys can see it in there. It was this great big picture window. They had like a like a console table against the wall. They had like yeah. a, an oversized dining room table, even mm -hmm. though the dining room was upstairs. This is more like an adult yeah. lounge space. More like a lounge, yeah. So um, we came up with the idea mm -hmm. to remove the table completely. And because it's opposite of the bar, we mm -hmm. wanted to create this like lounge space to have like a cocktail or, or wine. Yeah. Uh, and so we've been, we've been doing this with awkward spaces yeah. and kind of like unfunctional spaces. You can, it can be functional, but we want to show that you can get as many people in a room as possible mm -hmm. without making it feel overcrowded. Absolutely. And you guys will see it in here whenever it gets to that point, but all the furniture is like bounced off the wall. It's centered mm -hmm. in the center of the space. Um, and it really anchors that point and almost makes it feel like its own space within this really big open floor plan. Yeah. So we're going to continue. And this part of the house is really cool. Mm -hmm. So this is opposite of the seating area that you just saw a staging. And this area was like a wet bar space. Mm -hmm. And it was a little dated, but it was still really cool and functional. It was um, really cool. Straight out of like the 50s. <laughs> it was definitely, it was definitely, but it had this really awesome built-in in the back and it actually lit up. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about this space was that um, we were able to bring in the perfect um, bar stools. Yes. No backs. Um, you know, relatively harmless to the space and timeless, and they just worked super, super well. Yeah. And lights on. Okay. So a lot of times we're bringing in rugs, we have to if we're not bringing a couch, we have to move couches and sometimes that can be really fun. So we had to move a big section to get this rug in, but it ended up being totally worth it. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, the space kind of had a rug whenever we showed up, but it wasn't mm. great for staging. Yeah. So we just brought in a really neutral gray and white um, shag rug. It was perfect for the space. It really, well, you know how I feel about rugs. Mm -hmm. It just anchors the space. Mm -hmm. So um, it did take a little finesse. We did move <laughs> it and we lifted it um, and it, it, it really anchored it. So you guys will see that in a moment as mm -hmm. well. That is a great cut. That is a great cut. Shout out to our editor. Yeah. Um, and if anyone wants to know how you should actually move a chair, this is how I recommend it. Yes. <laughs> I hope my insurance company is watching right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so don't try this at home. No. Um, no. But when you have a, a stairway or like a foyer area, you want to have some art. You don't want a big blank wall going up to the ceiling. So we hung a big piece of art there. Yes. And I had to um, hold Josh as he braced himself on the mm -hmm. railings. The owner was totally fine with this, by the way. Yes. Yes. To be clear. And the chandelier that we actually recommended they spray paint matte mm -hmm. black because it was an old like 90s brass hung right in the center. And the chandelier like paired with the art mm -hmm. mixed with what we did in the space. Just awesome. It really actually set the entire space. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. But again, 
Safety first. Safety first, and Josh is a trained home stager. Yes. So uh, um, I have certifications don't in um, standing on railings. So yes. don't try. There actually is a correct way to puddle curtains on the ground if your curtains actually reach the ground and beyond. Mm -hmm. So um, I was pretty proud of this and uh, mm -hmm. I actually asked Noah to make sure that he got this because <laughs> I was super proud of the way that they puddled. <laughs> So the before and afters of the entry space, the basement mm. space, were night and day. I yes. mean, it was really, really fantastic. It felt brighter mm -hmm. in there. It was just, it was more open. Mm -hmm. um, I think we did a pretty good job pulling this space together for sure. Yeah. Um, and this is actually one of the first times we staged with a glass top coffee table. We've been yeah. a little scared to do it before, yeah. but it ended up working out fine. I think that it really opened up that oh, yeah. seating area. Yeah, ever since, and now we just, that's like all we're buying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> seating space it's is everything yeah i want that seating space in my house yes every house should have a seating yes. space like just, this. that looks just like that mm -hmm. Sometimes just taking a little bit of furniture that's currently in a space and rearranging it and adding some art just mm -hmm. re like just I don't know reimagines yeah. it just brings it to life it just does so much and this gym space is definitely um, an example of that mm -hmm. we didn't do much we just rearranged some things we added some art yeah. and you could see before that everything was kind of clustered in one corner like. We, we spread things out a little bit and angled them so the room still feels open and you feel like you can do a variety yeah. of exercises in that space. Absolutely. Or just use it as a, as a different space. Yeah. But we pulled stuff off the walls and really brought the space to life. The bar was night and day, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Good, good. Made you feel alive. Yeah. It was, you walked in, it was the first thing you saw. It was great. Mm -hmm. This before and after of the living room space is um, something that we're pretty proud of in that mm -hmm. we can take a current space that already has some pieces. You can yeah. see the plant was in the corner the whole time. And we just add our own touch and mm. our own inventory, very little, and it can completely transform the space. So mm -hmm. um, this is an example of like a partial stage in, that we worked with yeah. their stuff. Yeah, and throw pillows go a long way. Yeah, as just you can some, see. Some neutral ones, some ones with some color. Yep, absolutely. Miles. Yeah, so just an example of that. <laughs> The details matter. So we add the greens, mm -hmm. we add the lamps, we add the accent tables, and those things really take the property to the, to the next level. So yeah. uh, we pay attention to those details for sure and, and pretty proud of those. Yes. For sure. We have so many greens and we put them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so many. <laughs> we do, yep. Cool. Well, that was the b undecorated behind the scenes of the retro raised ranch stage job that we did. Yeah, it was an awesome stage. It was a lot of work, but mm -hmm. um, you know we worked with we worked with a great real estate team, um, mm -hmm. one that we really we really really love to work with, and the house turned out great. It sold for the the seller, um, yeah. over asking obviously, and and it just it was just really fun, and we love to do these projects. Yeah. So thank you for listening and watching and um, listening and watching listening and watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool.
Until next time, guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>